and welcome to another DaddyJamesFilms.webs.com's video tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm uh, going to give you another Windows 7 tip for you. <clears throat> and uh, this Windows 7 tip is going to be Windows 7 Taskbar Tweaks. And to get that, you'll go to Google and type in 7, uh, 7 Taskbar Tweaker. Uh, hit search. From there, you have a few choices here. You could go to lifehacker.com, but I'll venture to have you to go to randmichaels.com. So uh, we're just going to go ahead and go there. From there, we're going to go to 7 Taskbar Tweaker. It'll bring this up. And from there, all you have to do is download it. Uh, they got one for 64 a bit, and uh, they got it for 32 bit here. <clears throat> Once you download it, there's no install uh, installs on it or anything like that. Now you're probably wondering, well, what is Seven Taskbar Tweaker? <laughs> I haven't explained it yet. Well, I'm getting ready to show you here in a second. Uh, but like I said before, you don't have to install it. Uh, uh, so you just click on it, and it automatically comes up. And you can tweak your taskbar a little bit. You can, uh, uh, you know, right click. Uh, do you want to jump list default or standard window view? Now what this do right here, like the right click, if I go to standard window view, down here you right click and it'll be like, you know, like it was in the, like in Vista and XP when you right click. Um, yeah, I'll go back to the original one and apply. Now I'm going to right click. Now it gives me this right here, the Windows 7 right, right click. Grouping, uh, group by applications ID, default, uh, don't group. If you don't want it to group, you just click here. Uh, dropping, pin to start. Uh, uh, default or you just want it to be um, open with uh, okay middle click uh, whatever that's for left click or group buttons uh, uh, thumbnail preview if you don't like that uh, so but this is a nice little uh, trigger here okay one more thing before I end this tutorial is for Windows 7 taskbar tweaker what you want to do you want to go ahead and take this and put it somewhere other than just on your desktop um, that way you won't lose it I went ahead and took mine and went to uh, to my local C disk and just went in there and I just put it in there just so I know I won't end up accidentally deleting it what, what you do from here you right click on it and create a shortcut and from there you should have a shortcut so you take that drag it all the way down to here and just go to the start keep holding it and go to programs and just go ahead and put it up there that way it'll be in your programs file if that's where you want it or you can just pin it to the start menu wherever you like to have it anyways that's it for this tutorial comment rate subscribe thank you and have a nice day